one, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a suspension for a child. To enable the suspensions feature, you can go to your services settings, ensure that you're on the admin tab, and under the admin configuration, click on suspensions. To apply a suspension against a child, go to the child's details page and click on the suspensions tab. And click here to create a new suspension. When creating a suspension type for a child, it is listed as behavioural. It is mandatory to put a start date. You can either leave the end date blank or you can enter in an end date. If you choose to remove specific bookings within that date range, you can enter in a start and an end date for those bookings and this will automatically remove those bookings. You must enter in a detail as to the reason why you're creating the suspension. Once you've completed those mandatory fields, you can click save. You can then see the active suspension record for that child. To delete or mark this record inactive, you can either click the red cross in the action column or click on the record and untick the active and click save. You can view all inactive records by ticking the show inactive records box. While a child has a suspension, a guardian is unable to create bookings within the iParent portal or waitlist using iEnroll if those features have been turned on in the iParent portal and a user is unable to create a booking for that child. So if we go to the child's bookings tab, create a booking within the suspension period and click save, we will receive this notification advising us of the suspension. However, because this suspension is on the child and not the guardian, if we were to go to another child's bookings tab linked to that guardian, we will be able to continue to create bookings. If the suspension is on the child and the child is in a shared care scenario where there is two guardians that share the bookings over the week, both guardians will not be able to create the bookings or wait list in the iParent portal. When a suspension is created for a child or a guardian for that matter, the guardian is sent an email automatically advising them of the suspension and you will also receive notifications on your home screen in relation to the suspensions. Depending on your user role access, will determine if you can see those notifications. For any further information on how to create a suspension for a child, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft.